Hey everybody, day 42. So today I wanted to share a little story with you. Can't for the life of me remember where I heard this story. It was a couple of years ago when I read it. Um, but I have to say the message in this story has stuck with me since I've, I've read it. And it really sparked a sense of adventure in me and made me really think. So yeah, I wanted to share it with you today. So this story is about value for money. No, really. <laughs> I just got an image of a, of a few years going, really? Yeah, value for money. So basically what this person was saying when they wrote this story was that when you go out and you buy an object or a thing, that you only get a joy out of it for a little while. Um, it's very rare that we'll buy a thing that we will love forever and ever. Usually the novelty wears off that after a little while. And to get that same feeling of joy, we'll go out and we'll buy something else now. So a great example would be us girls with our dresses. Like we'll go out and we'll find a dress. We think it's a gorgeous dress. We'll try it on. We think we're only massive in it. And we'll go and we'll wear it to a wedding or whatever. And the next day it's like, meh. Don't think I'll wear that again. So... We don't really get value for money because we've spent God knows how much on a dress and we wore it once. And then the novelty wore off almost immediately. So we want to go out and buy a new dress for the next thing. So that was basically what they were saying that, you know, you'll have to keep buying more things and more things to keep up that sense of joy. So you don't really get value for money. Now, what they said instead to do was to spend your money on experiences so spend your money on travel on days out on adventures on fun times with friends and family on making memories and that way the joy and the feelings and the memories stay with you forever and ever so even on your deathbed you can look back and remember all those wonderful memories, all the lovely feelings, all the really awesome things you did in life. And that, they reckon, is real value for money. I thought that was brilliant. And I've been doing that since. I've been buying things less and less and spending 